Hi, my name is Marina. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Sydney. Currently, I'm an honours student in French at the University of Sydney. So I first began learning French uh, in early high school, so years seven and eight, and I continued on with French into my senior years of high school, taking French continuals for the HSC. I was never really one of the best in French in my class, and in fact, I was ranked towards the bottom of my class in years 11 and 12. I remember crying after a speaking exam in which I didn't really perform very well and calling my friend afterwards and telling her I wanted to drop French altogether because I didn't see any point in continuing to learn French if I wasn't really going to go anywhere with it. But I continued on with French mainly because of my genuine interest in the language, um, my, my genuine interest in French and free different culture. And at the end of the day, I really wanted to improve my language skills. I really wanted to be able to you know, talk to French speaking people from around the world. And it's the main reason why I decided to continue on with French, even now until university. And I'm really grateful that I didn't give up back then in high school. I've been fortunate to have had a lot of meaningful and amazing experiences thanks to my French language learning journey. And I think one of the biggest ones has definitely been making a lot of great friends. So the language classes that I've taken have been much smaller than other classes, both at high school and at university. So it's much more easy to form you know, close relationships that went beyond, say, just a simple hello once or a few times a week. But I think one of the biggest and most amazing experiences that I've had has been going on exchange to Paris in my third year at university. It was an amazing experience to be able to live there and um, be a local, but also be a tourist at the same time. And it was such an amazing uh, learning experience as well because it was it was difficult, and I was really like scared about being in the same classroom as French speaking people, French students. But it also gave me a really big confidence boost because that because after the whole like semester ended, after the the, the exchange was over, I said to myself, wow, you know, I was able to pass classes that were in French and, you know, I was able to navigate myself around, let's say, like simple, um, simple things such as like going around the city, taking the metro, but also uni life as well and all the bureaucracy that came along with it. In some way, that whole experience really reaffirmed that choice back then in high school and, you know, it really gave me good um, good confidence boost as well. If I were to give advice to my younger son, um, I'll tell myself to keep at it. I remember feeling like, you know, I never made any progress with French in high school when I was, um, when I was taking French. I didn't think I was really going anywhere. And it is hard to adequately measure improvement in a language, but Learning a language at the end of the day is such a rewarding experience and it's not a competition with other people. So if learning French is important to you, make that your priority. Don't give up. Um, whatever happens, don't give up. Make sure that it's a priority and you keep it a priority. Galère. I love the YouTubers Le Rire Jaune. Ça fait huit ans qu'avec mon frère, on fait des vidéos sur YouTube. My favorite place is Paris. Crepes. Palau by Vianney. Luca. Ça marche.